Okay, in the last couple lectures, um, I presented this concept of a toric system where you have plus 3 here and plus 5 here. Um, and so this concept is we don't have Plano on one of the key axes, and the main axes that are 90 degrees apart from each other have different numbers, plus 3 and plus 5. And again, halfway in between would be plus 4. Um, and we drew it like this on a power cross. So in the eye clinic, we don't have any lenses that look like this. This is what the glasses look like that the patient goes home with, but this isn't what we have in the clinic. So we have to somehow build this with the, with the bricks that we have in the clinic. And the bricks are spherical and cylindrical lenses. So the next few talks that I do, we are going to build this system using a spherical and a plus cylinder lens, a spherical and a minus cylinder lens, and two cylindrical lenses. And these are the next few lectures, okay? So the lecture we're doing now is um, number two, the spherical and the plus cylinder. The next lecture will be number three, and then the next lecture will be number four. And there, there are four different ways of saying the same thing. There are four different ways of building this same idea of plus three and plus five, okay? Or minus two and plus four, or, you know, you name it, any toric system that we want. Okay, so I'm going to leave this up here for the next two, next three lectures, um, just for consistency, okay? So if we want, if we only have spherical and plus cylindrical lenses at our disposal, how do we build this toric lens that has a plus 3 along the 180 degree meridian and a plus 5 along the 90 degree meridian. Well, what we do is we say, all right, I'm going to use two lenses and I'm going to add them together because in the last talk we talked about how lenses were additive, okay? And what we want to end up with is this, okay? So we want a spherical lens and a plus cylindrical lens. Well, when we're doing this in with a spherical lens and a plus cylindrical lens, we're adding power with the cylindrical lens. So we want to figure out what's the what spherical lens can we put in there to give us the base power, the lowest power. So what we do is we look at this and we say, which is a smaller number, plus 3 or plus 5, okay? And it's pretty clear that plus three is a smaller number. So that's the spherical lens that we put on there. So that's a plus three spherical lens. So which cylindrical lens do we want to add to it to get the plus three along the 180 and the plus five along the 90? So what do you have to, so let's look at the 180 first. What do you have to add to plus three to get to to get plus three, and the answer is Plano. And then, what do I need to plus to add to plus three to get to plus five? And the answer to that is plus two. Okay, so plus three plus two is plus five, and plus three plus Plano is plus 3, okay? So now we see, so the plus 3 spherical lens is written this way. How do we write that center lens? Well, we know the, the power of it is plus 2, and we know the axis is where the Plano is, so that's 180. So the way we write this in plus cylinder is plus 3 plus 2 axis 180. Now, what the way, what these numbers mean is 
It's not plus 3 plus 2 axis 180, and it's certainly not plus 3 plus 2 at 180. Okay? It's plus 3 plus 2 axis 180. It's plus 3, that's the spherical lens, plus 2 axis 180, that's the cylindrical lens. So when you say plus 3 plus 2 axis 180, think to yourself, what do the numbers mean? All right, let's look at another example here. So now what we're going to do is instead of having the axes at 90 and 180, let's say we want to build, um, let's say we want to build this, where we have a minus 1 here and we have a plus 2 here. And let's say this is the 45 degree meridian and this is the 135 degree meridian. So what do we have to add together to get those? So we want to add a spherical lens plus a cylindrical lens to equal that toric lens. Well, what's the lowest number on there? Okay, if we're doing a plus cylinder lens, we want to start with the very lowest number, and that is minus 1, and that's our spherical lens. And you can stop the video, pause it, and see if you can figure this out on your own if you want. Okay, so what do we need to add to minus 1 to give us minus 1? 0, or plano. What do we need to add to minus 1 to give us plus 2? Plus 3. Minus 1 plus 3 equals plus 2. Okay? So this is 45 degrees, this is 135 degrees. So what is our answer here? We're doing green so it stands out. Our spherical lens is minus 1, that's our spherical lens, minus 1 sphere, plus, and what's our cylindrical lens? We know the power is plus 3, and we know the axis is 135. So the way we describe this toric system is minus 1 plus 3 axis 135. Okay, so that is how we solve for a toric system using a spherical lens and a plus cylinder lens. Or another way to think of it is that's how we build a toric system using a spherical lens and a cylindrical lens. A spherical lens and a plus cylindrical lens. So next presentation is going to use a spherical lens and a minus cylindrical lens. Okay, thanks.